Coke's secret plot to kill Crystal Pepsi. If we talk about rival companies, Coke and Pepsi will be one of the first pair that pops into your mind, capturing a more or less equal share of the market. Both companies are known to fiercely compete with each other. No wonder Coke once tried to kill a Pepsi product known as Crystal Pepsi. Today we will be talking about a theory about the so-called secret plan devised by Coke to kill Pepsi's product, Crystal Pepsi. I'm sure you're wondering, what is Crystal Pepsi? And what is this theory that involves Coke's secret plan to kill a Pepsi product? Well, stick around to the end and I'll answer these questions and more and dive deep into the intricacies of this theory. Without further ado, let's go. Before I begin with the video, I would like to say that this is just a theory we will first closely analyze the story behind this theory. So stick around to find out whether this theory is correct or if we get to debunk it. So, let's begin this story with the introduction of how Crystal Pepsi began. Back in the 1980s and into the 1990s, clear drinks were the hottest new trend as they symbolized a drink that was healthy. In the late 20th century, health and dieting were becoming pretty mainstream. Companies were also adapting and began introducing new brands and product lines to capture the market. To be competitive, Pepsi also introduced Crystal Pepsi, which was basically Pepsi without its food coloring. As you can imagine, it became popular pretty quickly and soon hit the top sales charts. This went on for some time, but their sales soon slowed down and eventually hit rock bottom. You've got to be wondering what caused this drop, right? Well, let me share with you a common theory that's been circulating around the internet. This theory goes something like this. Many people assumed that Tab Clear, which was a clear drink introduced by Coke, was the reason for Crystal Pepsi's downfall. You must be thinking that Tab Clear probably took all the market share and that's why Crystal Pepsi was discontinued, right? That's logical, but no. The real reason is something you couldn't guess. Let me explain. Basically, the theory says that Coke, under the guidance of Sergio Zaiman, introduced a bad tasting version of their clear drink, also known as Tab Clear, and this was the reason that led to Crystal Pepsi's downfall. These theorists think that Mr. Z saw how Crystal Pepsi was becoming so popular, and since Coke was already doing better than Pepsi, he saw this Crystal Pepsi as a product that might finally topple Coke's supremacy over Pepsi. He knew that many shops and grocery stores would put Tab Clear alongside Crystal Pepsi, and because both of them were clear, people would not be able to differentiate between the two. Any one of these brands could affect the other because they were similar, and that's exactly what Coke did. They purposefully made their product taste bad, which led people to begin hating clear drinks. So, of course, in turn, that ruined the clear drink market. This was also bad news for Pepsi, as it negatively affected Crystal Pepsi. And that's the story behind how Coke cut its own hand just to kill a competitor's product. I mean, if we think about it, this theory seems pretty legitimate. Coke could have really sabotaged Crystal Pepsi by putting their bad tasting product alongside Pepsi's product. They are both notorious rivals, so this theory makes perfect sense. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. So, after doing a little bit of research and digging, we found that this theory was absolutely false. Yeah, you heard that right. It's completely and utterly wrong. It was discovered that this theory was basically promoted by Zyman himself, as it puts him in a good light. Before I dump this theory with facts, I'll have to go all the way back to Zyman's history so that you have a better idea of what and who you're dealing with. So let's talk a little bit about Sergio Zyman. He was a marketer and used to come up with marketable products for Coke. Now, was he any good? Well, I'll leave it up to the audience to decide that after I'm done with this video. Zyman was the person that introduced the new Coke. Yes, I'm talking about the change in Coke that was hated by everyone. People call it the worst strategy in marketing and business history. Zyman knew he had screwed up and that is why he was doing whatever he could to correct his reputation. That's why he artfully covered any track that would lead to him being further bashed and embarrassed. Now that's where we connect our story to the story of Tab Clear. Guess who introduced that drink? You got it, it was Zyman. He introduced this drink in hopes of countering Crystal Pepsi and its popularity. Now this was basically another one of his marketing strategies that failed dramatically. This wasn't acceptable to Zyman and that's why he promoted all this nonsense about him intentionally making a bad product so that it would tank Crystal Pepsi. So I've given so many statements in this video, yet I haven't backed them up with facts. 
First of all, Tab Clear was introduced before Crystal Pepsi. How could they come up with a bad product to bring down Crystal Pepsi if their bad product was introduced before Crystal Pepsi was? I mean, it's pretty obvious that Tab Clear was a bad product on its own without being intentional. So you can imagine how this theory can't be true since the foundation is so weak. Another reason this story is not true is due to the reputation of Sergio Zyman. He wasn't that good of a marketer, and to cover that failed history, he would do anything, and that's why he promoted this story. We have talked long enough about him though, let's move on to the next point. Coke has always been slightly better than Pepsi in terms of sales and marketing. Coke just performs better, but it doesn't make sense that he would go to such extreme lengths just to get back at a rival. I mean, sure, if they were a small brand and you harming the big shot in the industry would help you, you might do it, providing it's legal, of course, as you have nothing to lose. But for Coke, a lot of things could have gone bad if this Zyman story was true. Thankfully, it isn't, and it totally makes sense why it didn't actually happen. In the end, I would just like to say that despite their rivalry, Coke and Pepsi can't pull off maneuvers like these. Not only would it cause legal issues, which could potentially cost a lot of money, but it also worsens the reputation of both brands. Sure, they've been fierce rivals with pointed advertisement campaigns toward each other, but that is just arguably banter and does nothing to largely affect the sales of the other. Yes, they might be colluding, but if we think about the years that the two have remained on top, you can bet that they will be able to continue their monopoly. So any chance of Coke pulling this off is next to impossible. That's my opinion. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. And on that note, I'll end this video here. Let me know what you think about this whole so-called rumor surrounding Crystal Pepsi. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.